the only thing on the agenda for the next two days will be a lot of fishing, some camping, and some boating here on one of my favorite rivers of all time. It is dark. I hope you can even see me right now. It's a very late start. It's like 8.30. We're here at the Red Deer River. I'm excited to get casting. I'm going to make this short and sweet because I'm running out of daylight. But right now, I'll just show you what I'm using. Right here, this is a Rage Swimmer. It is a small boot tail swim bait. And hopefully, I can catch some walleye. That's what I'm specifically targeting with this tactic. Of course, a gold eye will eat anything. And that's one of my favorite fish to catch. I'm excited to catch those, but I am looking for a walleye seen as it is sunset period, prime time for walleye. Hopefully we can catch one so there's nobody out on this portion of the river. And I'm excited to start casting. So let's get in the water, which is, I'll just mention, very clear and very warm. And yeah, hopefully we can catch at least one fish before the sun is all the way down. You know, there really isn't anything else like wet wading in a river you're right in the water with the fish and it feels super real when you do catch one i'm really hoping that i can catch one tonight i don't have a whole lot of time my window is closing very quickly but like i said in the intro we're going to be camping i've got a whole full day tomorrow so this is essentially just bonus if i do catch one let me just break down the spot real quick so you can look at this bank right here shallow gradual slope right down as for that, that is a straight cliff. That whole section right there is just a straight drop. And that's exactly what it's like under the water. So unfortunately I'm on the wrong side, but like I said, I'm gonna be wet wading out here and I am casting as far as I can to get to that deep pool. So that's where those walleye will be sitting, right on the bottom waiting for a little minnow. In my case is what I'm imitating, but also a little crayfish. And hopefully I can get one. This is sweet here though. Man, such a beautiful river. And the area is just so picturesque. It's gorgeous here. There we go, I'm on. Sweet. First fish coming up on that Rage Swimmer swim bait. Looks like a little walleye. Yeah, that's awesome. Alrighty, beauty. You know, it doesn't matter if there's not a lot of light. I'm still catching some awesome fish. It's a nice little size walleye. Beauty. Beauty. Look at that, folks. Well, there's that first fish of the trip. A beautiful golden walleye. See, he's ready to go. I'm going to let him go. Beauty. Awesome. There we go. Wow, right as it hit the water. That's ridiculous. It feels very small, but he hit it the moment it went in the water. That's crazy. I think this is a gold eye. It's not really fighting like a walleye. Yeah, little, little gold eye. Man, he was aggressive. Look at that, awesome. Come here, buddy. Sweet. Well, I think it's clear why these fish get their name. Look at that skin hooked on the top of its lip could have lost that fish at any point in that fight that's why the sensitive rod is very nice for this and i'll talk about my setup right real quick once i release this fish but beautiful first gold eye of the trip hopefully first of many i love catching these fish beautiful I'm gonna point its head upstream so there's oxygen flowing through its gills and we'll wait for him to kick off i think he's ready there he goes so the gear that I'm throwing right now, this is a 1,000 size Stratic. I really like it. It's a nice, small, compact reel, and it holds a good amount of my line, which is six pound Berkeley Vanish fluorocarbon. I'm throwing this on my St. Croix Trout Series rod, and what I love about this rod, it's just six foot four. It's amazing for casting in these rivers, especially because you don't need a super long rod for these rivers, and all I'm doing is I'm just casting. It's a nice, it's a nice light power, and it's got a fast action, so it's got a quick tip so I can set the hook fast. And it's also got that backbone to fight some of the bigger fish. 
I like the fast action because these gold eye have extremely bony metals. You want a really good hook set for those guys. And yeah, with the backbone on this rod and that light sensitive tip so I can feel all the bites, it's pretty deadly for these gold eye. Well, I think that's gonna wrap up the fishing section of today. I'm very pleased with catching those two species, one being a walleye, the other one being a gold eye. And yeah, hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to catch some more awesome fish. It'll be a really fun time. We've got some people joining us and I'm excited. It'll be a cool float. And yeah, hopefully it'll be filled with some awesome fish catches. Yeah, I'm gonna head back to camp and uh, probably get some sleep. I'm gonna, gonna want an early sleep tonight because I'm gonna be waking up early the next morning and I want some energy for the paddle. So I'm excited. It's supposed to be a nice warm day tomorrow and I'll catch you guys then. Well, the sunrise this morning was absolutely beautiful. I'm glad I could capture that on the drone. As you can see, I am moving right now because we have got our canoe set up. Got my dad in the back of the canoe. Way up there, we've got Jonah and his dad in their John boat. And directly behind us, we've got Sean inside of his kayak. It'll be a cool day today, floating down the Red Deer River. I've always wanted to do this and I'm pretty excited. We're starting at Mackenzie Crossing Campground and then going down to dry Buffalo Island and uh, yeah, I'm excited. It'll be cool. Hopefully we can catch some fish along the way and it's beautiful out here. Let's go. Yeah, there we go. I see more suckers, Jonah. I'm on. Walleye. First one. There we go. Well, I just we just passed over a stool of suckers and there's a walleye hanging out with them. Beauty. We will take that beautiful walleye here on the swim bait. There he goes. Beauty. All right, first one of the float. Hopefully first one of many. So this is the swim bait that I caught that last walleye on. This right here is a jackal rhythm wave and what i like about this swim bait is that it's got a really tight kicking action and it's also got a nice slender profile and it's pretty good to fit down some smaller walleye or gold eyes mouths and yeah i've just got a small little black jig head i think it's a mushroom jig head on it and that's kind of what i'm rocking right now all right this part's getting shallow Joan and them they're walking their boat right now i think sean's gonna muscle through it i think that's what he's trying but right down the middle, it's making a V, so that'll be where that deepest channel is, and we should be able to. Our canoe is, like, the most buoyant out of all these boats, so we're, we're sitting on the least amount of water. So if uh, Sean makes it through, no problem, we definitely will. Oh, yeah, we made it. Easy. Easy. Okay, we're coming into a good spot here. Got one. Gold eye. Nice. Spot looked really good. I knew I was gonna get one here. Nice gold eye right here. Beauty. Alrighty. Got him there with that swim bait right in the inside of his mouth. Awesome. Second species of the float. Beautiful gold eye. We will take that. That was awesome. Alrighty. See you later, buddy. Thanks for biting the hook. And off he heads.
think he'll be deeper along there. Yeah, you got a good walleye, Dad. That's a walleye, that's a big walleye too. No, that's a giant walleye. I got him, I can grab him. Oh, baby. Well, that's a nice size walleye. That is what we came here for. That is a giant walleye, Dad. Look at that. That's nice. Beauty. Red Deer River. That's probably a 26 inch walleye. Wow, there he goes. Dad, give me some of that. That is amazing. That's an awesome fish. Yeah, well, you have like what, two gold eye already? Two gold eye, one walleye. I don't have any. So. There we go, that's another one. Make that three gold eye, Sean. Come on, man. <laughs> Sean's battling harder. Another one. Beauty, that's a nice size one too. Nice. Yeah, fun. awesome fight in the current. Look at that. There must be a school of them over here. Another gold eye in this current. They seem to be stacked over here. Choke that swim base. Probably my biggest one so far. Gorgeous fish though. Look at that eye. Beautiful. All right, face his head upstream and there he goes. There we go, I'm on. Feels like another nice gold eye. Beauty. Man, so much fun. Yeah, this is a nice sized one. The fight is just relentless. That is a nice one. Look at how he ate that. Inhaled it. Alrighty, another beautiful gold eye. We have definitely stumbled across a good concentration of them. That is sick. The swim bait is getting a little bit torn up, but it is still catching me some fish. Essentially what we're fishing right now is just some rapids that flow into a deep pool, but the important thing I think is that that current is still here. And I think that's what they're relating to right now. Sitting on the bottom, waiting for stuff like uh, minnows or insects to float above them. And that's why they're coming out to bite. This is awesome. It is a weird pattern though. You literally cast it out and just leave it. Okay, I didn't get one that time. That's, that's annoying. I'm on. Nice. It's such a weird pattern. You're literally just casting them out and they're picking it up. That's so sick. I am running out of plastics to use. They're loving the soft plastics. I've tried multiple brands, tried Bass Pro Shop, Strike King, Jackal, and right now I've got Power Bait on. And all of these plastics are working well. It's a nice one. Th this is a crazy pattern. It's just fish after fish. There's my fish. I've been using paddle tails all day. Right now I just kind of put on a jerk minnow kind of thing. Dropped him in the water. There he goes right back. He just lost one. This is a ridiculous pattern, and I'll show you guys right now what we're doing. Take your plastic, I don't think it really matters. Cast it out, and we're literally letting it sit. I'm keeping, I'm reeling just to keep the line tight, and they're picking it up from the bottom. They're sitting underneath, looking above, and they're coming out and biting it, which is ridiculous. This is such a crazy pattern. Well, unfortunate, but we are gonna be leaving the spot, but we definitely got our time's worth of the spot we caught a lot of gold eye. In total, I honestly think we probably came close to 20 fish. This was a really good spot. So we had a great time here. We've got to finish this float. We got to get to uh, the Buffalo Jump Provincial Park, but this was uh, pretty, pretty cool. There we go. Nice. This one's on. Nice double up. Nice work, Dad. Sick. Another gold eye, man. I can't get enough of these fish. I think both of ours are around the same size, Dad. <laughs> awesome. 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 Another one on the paddle tail swim bait. 
can't get enough of these swim baits, man. Beauty. Nice work, Dad. Alrighty, let him go. There we go. That's a good fish. That is a good fish. Hit me like a ton of bricks. I think it's another nice gold eye. Oh yeah, beauty. Beauty, man. Sweet. Awesome fishing. I oh, just can't get enough of these guys. Look at that, right in the corner of the mouth. Swim bait pops right out. Man, the gold eye bite has really turned on recently. Awesome out here. Yeah, the weather's perfect. Bluebird skies, no wind. Look at where we are. Hoodoo's all around us. It doesn't get much better than this. There we go. Nice. Comes and goes, yeah. I got a walleye though, I think. This one's not fighting like a gold eye. Yeah, that's a nice walleye, Dad. I got a nice walleye. That's a good fish. That's a very nice Red Deer River walleye. Oh, that's a beauty. That's a beauty. That's a beautiful fish. That is a beautiful walleye right here. Not quite the size that my dad caught earlier today, but a good one for sure. Got him. Sweet. Choked. That swim bait, look at that. Look at the teeth on this fish. Beautiful river walleye. There we go. Gorgeous river walleye right there. That is an awesome fish. I'm very happy with that. Beautiful, beautiful. Gorgeous golden walleye. Beauty. Kicks off and right back down to the bottom he goes. Days like this do not come very often. This was an amazing, amazing day. And overall trip, camping was amazing. Boating was fantastic. And we got on some nice fish and a lot of fish. So that was honestly a perfect day. Amazing company. Thanks to Jonah and his dad for joining us. Thanks to Sean for joining us. And uh, yeah, I got to hang out with my dad in the canoe. Both caught some fish side by side. That was, that was a really, really great fishing day. I got to see some parts of the Red Deer River that I've never seen before, and that's always really cool. But yeah, honestly, an amazing day. The scenery was absolutely picturesque, just all around amazing. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching the video, and as always, hopefully I'll see you in the next one.